Hey guys, today this tutorial is all about making your own Ajax filter table. Something like this. Select the second year and all those entries with the second year comes up. So here I have my database work and this is my uh, table students which have the information of all the students. First name, last name, roll number and year. First, second, third and graduate. And this will be our filter. So this is my index.php page and uh, I've already done the stylings as well as uh, set this option the fetch results and uh, options value etc so now first we will go with our php script There is no password and a work database. So the next thing is the query. At first, we were fetching all the rows. So select students. First, you will go with the table heading. That's the ear. So now, if we save it and run it, so I have this table head. Now, next we will do is we will create an while loop to fetch the data from our database. That's the view. We are completed with the fetching part and uh, now we'll close the connection also. So 
now here we have all the data now half of half of our part is done and now our fetch.php whole thing will be the same but with a little difference if post request and little bit modification are required from select all from student where here is equals to same goes for result and we are done with the fetch.php now the script part here in my index.php I have already included my jQuery script selecting this patch well and add in uh, attach an even handler that is on change it will fire up when the value of this patch well changes now the first thing is to get the value checks part I would be post and the data would be request that is equal to our value before send and finally the success Now this is my ID table container. To give the status that uh, it is working. success part that is data now uh, let's check it There, an, there is an error uh, on line 6 mm -hmm. so oh, there is an error request and request spelling mistake oh, sorry for 
first year, now select second year. So now here we have all the data related to the second year, graduate or first year. So if you like my video, give it a thumbs up. And this was our today's tutorial. Thanks for watching.